The first thing I'm gonna do here is play the clip for you, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get into the science. We take that same chemical weapon, that's an acute toxic flammable environmental hazard and we ship it to compound pharmacies that put it in supplements and protein powders and energy drinks that you drink. Right, you ever heard of a Celsius energy drink? Celsius energy drink has four times the amount of daily cyanide that a human being is meant to ingest. Four times, that's just one sample. So drink Monster or Bang. I mean drink Bang, not, not Monster or Celsius, right? <laughs> bang has methylcobalamin, and this has cyanide. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Dr. Joey Munoz Show, your go-to podcast for all things health, fitness, and nutrition. I'm your host, Dr. Joey, nutrition science PhD and founder of Fit for Life Academy. Today's episode, we are doing a debunking episode, which I actually haven't done on the podcast before, and I don't really know why, because... This is the type of content that I that I put out quite frequently on social media, and it seems to do very well because you guys enjoy it, but also I like to help you guys understand why so many of the claims that are made in the health and fitness space are completely incorrect. So for those of you guys that haven't seen any of my videos on social media, which there probably aren't any of you that haven't because I feel like most of you guys that listen to the podcast follow me on social media first, but I'll take short clips from individuals who say ridiculous things about nutrition or fitness or health and provide some scientific backing as to why those claims are incorrect. Now, here's the thing. I can only do so much in a 60 second video to educate you. So I think it's probably a good idea to take some of those videos and turn them into podcast episodes where I could provide a deeper explanation. And the first person we're gonna be talking about here today is somebody who I love very much, Gary Brecca. And if you can't sense the sarcasm, I'm being extremely sarcastic because he's probably one of the worst in the health and fitness space right now. Gary Brecka's popularity has absolutely exploded simply because he's really good at marketing, I guess. Um, and he worked with Dana White, who's the president of the UFC, helped him lose some weight and get in better shape. And so he's like a health guru now. And a lot of people really, uh, really love him. <laughs> he has like millions of followers on social media. But here's the thing. The vast majority of the things that he says are absolutely incorrect. One of the videos that I made that gained the most traction on social media was around one of the claims that he made about Celsius energy drinks. He said that Celsius energy drinks contain four times the allowable amount of cyanide per day. And cyanide is essentially a toxic compound that can kill you. Um, and that claim is just not true at all. So we're gonna be debunking that claim, explaining what cyanide is, whether or not Celsius has that amount of cyanide. Quick note, it, it doesn't, but we're gonna be talking about the science behind the claim and why the claim is incorrect. With that said, before we jump into the episode, if you're a regular listener of the podcast, all I ask is that you please take a second to rate the podcast and leave, leave a review. It only takes you two seconds and it helps me a ton. I put so much effort into making these episodes every week completely for free and it would just be a very quick and simple way for you to show a token of your appreciation for my podcast. With that said, let's go ahead and get into the episode. I hope you enjoy it. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do here is play the clip for you and then I'm gonna go ahead and get into the science. So let's uh, try to get through this together because it's pretty bad. We take that same chemical weapon that's an acute toxic flammable environmental hazard and we ship it to compound pharmacies that put it in supplements and protein powders and energy drinks that you drink. Right, you ever heard of a Celsius energy drink? Celsius energy drink has four times the amount of daily cyanide that a human being is meant to ingest. Four times, that's just one sample. So drink Monster or Bang. I mean drink Bang, not, not Monster or Celsius, right? <laughs> bang has methylcobalamin, this has cyan. Okay. I think we've heard enough. So drink bang or monster, not Celsius, because it has a ton of cyanide. Let's go ahead and talk about this, okay? So the first thing we need to talk about is cyanide, right? So cyanide is a chemical compound that is deadly. It's a poison and it can come in different forms, right? Hydrogen cyanide, sodium cyanide, and these are known as, again, toxic compounds. When ingested in high amounts, they can be extremely, extremely harmful. Now, here's the thing. It's impossible to avoid cyanide altogether because it occurs naturally in certain foods. And in small amounts, our liver can actually detoxify and excrete cyanide. So it's not like if you consume any amount of it, you're, you're gonna die. That's not true, right? 
Um, we have an enzyme in our liver that converts cyanide. This enzyme is called rhodonese, and it converts cyanide into thiocyanate, which is non-toxic, and then it's excreted through the urine. Because our liver helps us detoxify things that could be harmful, um, and when they're consumed in small amounts, essentially this detoxif detoxification process is efficient enough to get rid of all of that toxin and not cause any harm. Right Now, cyanocobalamin is the form of vitamin B12 that's found in Celsius energy drinks. And as you can tell by the name, cyanocobalamin, this molecule of vitamin B12 contains a molecule of cyanide. But here's the thing. Just because it contains a molecule of cyanide doesn't mean that you're consuming free cyanide that's very harmful for you. First and foremost, the cyanide is covalently bond to the vitamin B12 or to the cobalamin molecule. Okay, so they are bound to each other. Cyanocobalamin is not the same thing as consuming cyanide, okay? Cyanocobalamin is a stable, non-toxic form of vitamin B12 that's used in many supplements and energy drinks and has been approved by government governing bodies as safe to consume. Um, it's not gonna cause any sort of harm, okay? Now here's the thing. When cyanocobalamin is consumed from an energy drink or in any other form, some of that cyanide is released. So you do get some cyanide in your body, but it goes through these, this detoxification process that I just talked about in the liver, where it's converted to thiocyanate and it's completely non-toxic and you excrete it through your urine, all right? So, it's not causing any sort of issues. You haven't heard of anybody dying from cyanide uh, intoxication from consuming Celsius drinks. Now, a ton of people are, make this argument that, well, shouldn't you just avoid it altogether? Like, is there any sort of amount of cyanide that's safe? Shouldn't we try to avoid it altogether to the best of our ability? And as I mentioned a little while ago, it's practically impossible to avoid some of these toxic compounds altogether because they occur naturally in specific foods. For example, we can find small amounts of cyanide in foods like almonds, in apple seeds, in cassava, in stone fruits, things like cherries, plums, um, lima beans, I believe, flax seeds as well. So a lot of these foods that are considered very healthy contain a certain amount of cyanide. Now the truth is that they contain very little cyanide and they cause no health issues simply because you you go through this detoxification process in the liver, right? Now, it's important to understand the concept here. This ties into the concept of the fact that the dose makes the poison, right? Yes, there are molecules or compounds that are inherently harmful, um, but the truth is that anything can be deadly depending on the amount, right? Even water can be deadly. If you consume too much water, you can drown, essentially, right? Um, so. The dose makes the poison, and just because you're consuming something that is toxic doesn't mean it's going to cause any adverse health effects if consumed in small amounts. And so what we do um, in science is that we determine what the safe amounts of particular compounds are to consume, right? And this is determined by governing bodies like the FDA, the WHO, or the World Health Organization, the EPA, the Environmental Protection, Protection Agency, and based off of research that's available, these governing bodies come together and determine what the safety levels are for these different compounds, okay? And this, the, the higher amount of what's considered safe for cyanide is 0.05 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, okay? So to convert that into practical numbers for somebody like myself, I weigh around 215 pounds, but let's just say I weigh 200 pounds. That is around 4.5 milligrams of cyanide. So technically, I can consume around 4 milligrams of cyanide per day and be perfectly fine because I'm still below that allowable limit and my liver's going to do its job and get rid of it. It's not going to cause any sort of adverse health effects. Now the question is, in order for Gary's claim to be correct, um, Celsius energy drinks should have, for me, 4.5 times 4, being 9, 18 milligrams of cyanide per can, right? That would be four times the daily allowable intake, which is what he claimed in the video. So in order to determine how much cyanide is in a Celsius energy drink, we have to do some math. Again, 
the upper end of what would be allowable for myself is about 4.5 milligrams per day, okay? First and foremost, we need to determine how much cyanocobalamin or vitamin B12 is in a Celsius energy drink. One Celsius energy drink contains 2.4 micrograms of cyanocobalamin, okay? That is way, way less, way less than 4.5 milligrams. And that is of cyanocobalamin, right? Cyanide is only part of that cyanocobalamin, so there's even less of the cyanide. 2.4 micrograms is equal to 0.0024 milligrams. Okay, so it's a fraction of what might be considered harmful. So right off the bat, there's less cyanocobalamin than even the allowable energy of uh, allowable amount of just cyanide. Okay. Now, of that cyanocobalamin, we need to determine how much of it is cyanide. And the way we do this is by determining the molecular weight of cyanide relative to the molecular weight of cyanocobalamin, okay? So, cyanide only makes up about 2% of the entire cyanocobalamin molecule. Cyanocobalamin is about 1,355 grams per mole. That is the molecular weight of cyanocobalamin. That's essentially how much it weighs for a certain amount, okay? A mole, M-O-L-E in chemistry, just essentially translate to, translates to a certain amount of that molecule. Cyanide is only 26 grams per mole. So when you divide 26 by 1,355, you get roughly 2%, okay? You get roughly 2%. Um, so the amount that is actually in that Celsius energy drink is extremely, extremely low. It's about 0.05 micrograms, which is practically nothing. Okay. So for a 200 pound adult like myself, again, the daily, the daily safe amount of cyanide, of cyanide is about 4.5 milligrams. The amount that is in a Celsius drink is less than 1% of that. Right? So I would need to consume more than 100 Celsius drinks to uh, exceed the allowable amount of cyanide per day for myself. So I'm not sure where, uh, where Gary gets his claims from. Like, you know, People like this kind of just make stuff up and say it on social media and they're very radical claims. So people tend to follow it and people like it and people share it. And then it's just taken as fact. But when you break it down, and you look at the actual science and do the math and do the chemistry, there is no solid evidence for anything that he's saying when it comes to this. Now, I wanna wrap this up by saying that not only are Gary's claims um, unsubstantiated, they're dangerous, right? They're dangerous because specifically this one about Celsius, not so much because he's just telling you not to drink an energy drink, but he makes really ridiculous claims about fat loss, about, um, uh, protein supplements that are just completely unsubstantiated that just confuse people like you into knowing whether or not you should be consuming some of these things. And I urge you guys that anytime you hear some of these ridiculous statements on social media, they should immediately raise a red flag, right? If somebody says, this one thing is extremely toxic or this food that you've always been eating is what's causing you to gain fat, you should immediately think, hmm, that doesn't sound right. Right? Because the truth is that most of the times it's completely incorrect. Now, I want to address an important topic here. Whenever I, I make these videos where I debunk some of these claims, I get a ton of comments from people on social media saying, how can you be uh, saying that energy drinks are healthy? How can you be promoting energy drinks? And that's not what I'm doing at all. I'm not, not, not once in this episode have I told you, hey, you should go out and drink Celsius energy drinks, right? If you choose to avoid energy drinks because they're highly processed and they're not natural, that's fine. That's your own prerogative, right? I'm simply here just to share the science and provide factual data based off what we know. And the truth is based off of what we know, some of these energy drinks are not nearly as harmful as what people make them seem out, make, make them to be, right? I drink Celsius 
pretty regularly. I probably have two or three of them a week. It's fine, right? It's my personal choice. I like the flavor. I like the little kick of caffeine. It's not going to have any sort of negative adverse health effects on me. But if you want to avoid them, I'm not telling you to consume them by any means. I just want you to understand what the science shows. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm definitely going to be doing more of these debunking episodes moving forward because they're pretty short, but they provide a little bit more nuance than what I share on social media. With that said, let me know if you enjoyed this episode. If you checked it out, um, shoot me a message on social media. Let me know what you thought. If you're watching this on YouTube, just comment down below and let me know if you found this valuable. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll catch you in next week's episode. See ya.